what's going on everybody big J here today I'm gonna bring you a quick guide on unlocking the savage impaler wonder weapon on dead of the night uh, it's a crossbow one hit kills the vampires that's pretty good against the werewolves it takes out the zombies too but not not great uh, unless you're getting headshots so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking for six candles around the map that we're gonna have to melee and snuff out and then after so we're gonna have to do an escort challenge up here to the mausoleum and then charge up that ring that you just saw me after that it'll unlock this little area here which will take you down to the savage impaler now you will need a few things you'll have to build the shield have to unlock back a punch uh, there's guys on my channel do that if you don't know how to do either one of them uh, I would suggest having the Wraith fire and building the chaos theory so as I said you gotta unlock the pack a punch I'll show you why later on but uh, we're gonna jump right in and look at for the candles now uh, like I said there's six around the map sometimes it can be a little difficult not wanna go out for you but you're gonna have to run around and meet lay them to blow them out and you'll hear a sound when you do first one we're gonna do in the east hallway here you'll hear that noise they're all a little bit shorter and by themselves another one in the east gallery another one in a music room another one in the study to the right at the top of the steps again they'll all be solo candles that are smaller than all the other ones one in the master bedroom and the last one's down in the wine cellar now once you've done all that and you have pack a punch open you're going to want to go into the forest head down the right side of the path and you'll now be able to interact with this gravestone here and this headstone will then push you in like a zombie blood state you don't have to take the fast travel I just did to get back to the house quick and we're gonna be looking for a ghost you can find her in several places see I found her once in the dining hall uh, the next time I found her just sitting in the grand staircase she could be in the billiards room and a music room uh, some some times in just these zombie spawn walls you gotta look around for her so once you're in the zombie blood run around looking for her see I found her here in the grand staircase and then you're gonna have to do an escort escort her up to the mausoleum uh, probably won't be able to make this in one trip so if you don't you'll have to uh, wait and end around and then go back and hit the headstone again and that's where I kinda suggest it gets a little hectic trying to make it up there and escort her the chaos theory really helps out so if it goes away like you see it did there just go ahead hit the gravestone again she'll be waiting for you where it ran out on you and you're gonna escort her up here and now once she gets up there she's gonna possess a zombie and then you're gonna have to do certain kills on these zombies for them to drop pieces uh, it's been different orders but worked with the same type of kills every time you're gonna have to get a shield gun kill and then they'll drop a little purple artifact here a shield gun kill a shield bash kill I've used wraith fire every time other grenades might work but uh and a uh, special weapon so I'm just gonna get kills with those different types of you know weapons and then look around for her. she'll come stand over it and you'll be able to come pick it up now if you run off it'll go away and you'll have to get another kill but uh, just try these out sometimes it has been different orders it's, it hasn't been the same order every time when I've done it but it's always been with those four things shield gun shield melee 
special weapon, and a wraith fire is what I used. Once you have all four, make your way inside here by the perk statue and set one of those items on each of these four circles and they'll glow blue. Now what you're going to have to do is get kills by jumping back and forth around here and just, I just run around, use my special, use the chaos there, use the wraith fires and you'll be doing this right when you hear her shrieking and as you do it more and more she'll shriek more and more and then eventually it'll light up this whole area the whole circle will turn blue and that's when you know you finished it now I realized in this I try to run back to get another shield that uh, the charge goes away and if you do that you'll then have to come back up here and charge this circle again so once you charge this, you, you have a limited amount of time to run down and open the secret door. But uh, once you have that charged up fully and the full ring is blue, just make your way over here and interact with this headstone here, this grave, and it'll open up a secret chamber that'll lead right down to the Savage Impaler. And now once you pick this up, you're going to enter a lockdown. Uh, sometimes it'll throw a werewolf at the end, sometimes not, but you will have some regular vampires, some red vampires, some zombies. So you'll have to take them out before you can do anything. But as you see there, it's one hit kills the vampires. Doesn't do too bad. Semi-automatic. Shoots pretty fast. Uh, has an okay clip. Uh, and the higher rounds, it, you know, it, it's kind of limited. So if you're going for zombies, you're going to want to aim for headshots. If you found this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.